Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabyab, and here are today's top news headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell announced today that he will be replacing his stay-at-home, work-from-home lockdown order with a new recovery plan starting on Thursday. Caldwell's new COVID-19 recovery framework includes a four-tiered system of restrictions and rules that will be implemented depending how prevalent COVID-19 is in the community. When the new plan starts on Thursday, Oahu will begin under the most restrictive Tier 1. Under Tier 1, groups of up to five people will now be allowed in city parks, beaches, and trails. During the current lockdown, only individuals were allowed in parks and on beaches and trails. The city will also require permits for anyone wanting to put up canopy-like structures at parks under Tier 1. Under the new plan, retail outlets, bowling alleys, and movie theaters will be allowed to open, but at only 50% capacity. Bars and nightclubs will remain closed. To read the mayor's COVID-19 recovery framework plan, go to StarAdvertiser.com. Department of Health officials reported 63 new coronavirus infections in Hawaii today, the third day in a row that the new case total was under 100. The state's official COVID death toll remained unchanged. At However, the Hilo Medical Center said this morning that a 25th resident of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home has died from the virus. Hawaii Health Department officials said Monday that there are 20 more reported COVID deaths in the state that they have not confirmed yet. Those fatalities include about a dozen reported at the Hilo Veterans Home. The nursing home's manager, Avalon Healthcare, has come under scathing criticism in two recent reports about the facility's response to the outbreak. Today's news of the additional nursing home death comes on the same day that the national coronavirus death toll surpassed 200,000. The United States has by far seen the greatest loss of life from the pandemic than any other nation in the world. There have been 967,000 deaths worldwide from this disease, according to Johns Hopkins University. Finally, check out the Crave section in tomorrow's Star Advertiser as food editor Betty Shima Bukuro explores a new pastime for the pandemic era online cooking classes. Local chefs have been stepping up to the camera to host interactive online cooking classes during these socially distant times. Wednesday's Crave section checks out the classes hosted by Foodland chef Keone Chang, Windward Community College chef Daniel Swift, and other online offerings. These cook-along sessions have become a popular early evening activity that combines entertainment with education and dinner. Viewers can even ask the chefs questions via online chats. To learn more about these classes and for restaurant reviews, recipes, and more food news, pick up the Wednesday paper and look for the Crave section. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo and we'll see you tomorrow.